Hello, hope you've been having a good day. Welcome to a story on Bank Holiday Monday, the, gosh, what is it? The 25th of May. So yeah, just uh, two more after today. Thank you for your support. Thanks for watching and listening. And um, thanks to those of you who've made contributions. Hope everybody's enjoyed the stories as the gift that stories are. There was once a carpenter. He worked on building sites. He built houses. He'd done this all his life. He'd been doing it for over 40 years. He was tired. It was time, he thought, to stop doing the work that he loved, earning a reasonable salary, but uh, it was time. He wanted to spend more time with his wife, more time in his garden. He wanted to be able to spend days with his grandchildren, go out, uh, take them to the beach and play with them on long, expansive stretches of sand. He would really, really would delight in a whole day walking in forests or in the hills, going fishing, all these things that he would so dearly love to do. And somehow there just wasn't enough time and energy anymore. So he went to his boss and he, he explained, he said, I'm, I'm really sorry, I feel like I'm letting you down, but the time has come, it's time for me to retire. And uh, I shall miss everything about my work. I shall miss the income, of course. And you've been a good employer. I've enjoyed working for you. I shall miss you. His boss was a kind and generous man and he understood completely. And he said, I, I recognize what you're saying. I have, however, one favor to ask you, a really personal favor. Would you build just one more house for me as a favour? Well, our man said, of course, what else could he say? And he started the job. It was a good plot, it was a good sized plot. It was in a nice location of trees and there was a stream and the view open across to the hills. But his heart wasn't in it. So he cut corners. He didn't always use the finest quality of materials that he had done in the past. He didn't quite measure everything as meticulously before he cut. And everything just seemed to be taking that much more time. Anyway, he did eventually finish. And uh, his boss came over on the day that he completed. And he said, here we are then, boss. Here's the house that you wanted me to build for you. And uh, well, I'll be off then. <laughs> he practically had one foot down the drive. And uh, his boss stopped him, he said, wait, hold on, not so fast. Come inside with me, show me around. So he did. Talked about the living space, the kitchen, the views from the windows. Showed him the bedrooms, the bathrooms. And when they got back to the front door, his boss handed him the keys and he said, this is for you. This house is my gift to you. And that is where we leave that story. By leaving it there, 
I leave it with you to consider a little bit further. Anyway, have a good evening and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye bye.